Welcome. So you clicked on this video because you want to learn how to clone yourself in CapCut PC to create professional looking video effect for yourself or for your clients. Welcome to this video. This is how to clone yourself using CapCut PC. By the end of the day, you're going to learn the simple effect you are seeing on the screen right about now using the masking tool. It's super easy, not complicated, and I'm sure by the time you are done, you'll be doing this for fun and it'll be getting a lot of attention. If this is something you want to do and this is something you want to learn to take your editing game to a whole new level, then stay with me to the end of this video. It's going to be entertaining, it's going to be fun, and we are going to go straight right to it. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to bring in your first clip. There are rules to this thing. First, three rules you must follow to make sure this thing works for yourself. Your two videos, I'm going to bring in this one right about now to the timeline. This will be your first video. You want to ensure, let me show you now that this video is crossing from this side, just like this. You want to ensure the second video you are recording does not cross in front of this one. Instead, it's going to come from the back. So I'm going to bring this in and show you what I mean by that. Okay, so this is the second clip and you can see it's coming from the back like that. All right. So that's what we are going to be working with. That is the first thing you should put in mind. Secondly, when you're trying to create this effect, your camera position should not move throughout the recording of the two videos. Very important. You don't want the camera moving. You want the camera to stay still in a particular position. And the third thing, ensure your lighting is 100%. The lighting should not change throughout this process. So we are going to go in and start working on it now. So I'll just move the second clip to the end like so. And I'll first work on this clip where I want it to start from. As you can see, I want it to start from him entering like so. So I'm going to cut from here. I'm going to do Control B to cut this asset clip and delete that. Okay, so now I have this clip just here like that. So I'm going to wait to the end where it's working out again, like so. Yes, so I'm okay with that. I'm going to cut from here. Also do Control B again. Ensure you watch to the end. If you've not subscribed, ensure you hit the subscribe button because this is going to be a fun tutorial. So now that I have the first clip, I'm going to work on the second clip just before I start adding my effect. So I'm just going to drag this first clip here and move this out of the way. Okay, so for this first clip, let's just go and see where we want it to start from. As you can see, there was a part where it crossed over from this side. We don't want that part at all. We want him crossing when it starts to appear around here. So I'll just find that, I'll just move this cursor and just find where I start to see him appear. Like so. Right, so now I'll cut from here, Ctrl B once more. If you're on Mac, that will be Command B. So I'm going to delete this first frame. And now I'll move to the end and see if there's a part I need to trim out. Okay, there's that part where it went out of frame, but I'll just move that in like so. So we have this to this part. All right, okay, so I'll just cut that out too. So now control B or command B, any which one. So now we have our two clips. It's time to put in the masking effect needed for this to work properly. Are you ready? I mentioned three rules, right? There's one more rule. Ensure there is a imaginary line in between so that you are not crossing to the other video. That's very important. You want to create an imaginary line in your head. You want to know where your first person will start and your second person will start obviously is a clone so you should know where two of them will stand and ensure they don't cross each other so now let's work on this first clip now we'll click on this first clip like you've seen and then we'll go to max we are going to be using horizontal max which is this one 
all right so i'm just gonna click on it i've not used it before if you've not watched my first video about the very important settings you need to turn on this was my last video i made on this channel the very important settings you need to turn on ensure you have gone over to watch that it's very important so for this we're just going to turn this like so okay so we have it there so you don't get confused i would advise you take the upper clip out of the of this first one when you're working on this one so you hit on that one and you want to rotate it to your scene your person like that okay ensure it is 90 degree as you saw there it says 90 degree then you will bring in this particular one over it like so and then you will ensure this is turned the other way like so okay so you have the two videos now all right so you have the two videos just like that okay as you can see there's a thin line in between and you can just move this a bit like so all right you can move that a bit so you can move that a bit to ensure no more lines in it as you can see they have that line you don't want that line to show okay don't want that line to show at all so you can just move it a bit just to blend it out all right and you should have both of them in the screen like there keep working with that line you don't want the line interfering actually don't want that line there okay you don't want that line there so you want to ensure you're doing it in a way that that line gets off as you can see so what i did was simple what i did was simple and if you followed me to the end you would know how to do it for yourself and you can watch this video again so what i did was the line showed up and all i needed to do was move this arrow for the clip at the top all the way and move this arrow for the clip at the top all the way and we have this and this is the finished work this is what it looks like from the beginning Okay, so that is it. That's how to do it. You don't want to overdo this line because you see it's creating a transparent feel on the body. So you don't want to overdo that. Just doing it minimally and you should be able to get this done for yourself. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks and I'll see you on the next one. Stay blessed.